A 500-year-old painting of Christ, believed to have been by Leonardo da Vinci, has been sold in New York for a record £341 million. The painting is known as Salvator Mundi, or Saviour of the World. It's the highest auction price for any work of art. Leonardo da Vinci died in 1519, and there are fewer than 20 of his paintings in existence. Our arts correspondent David Silito reports. And so, ladies and gentlemen, we move to the Leonardo da Vinci, the Salvator Mundi. The Salvator Mundi by Leonardo da Vinci. Before this particular sale, the record price for an old master was just over $100 million. It took 28 seconds for that record to fall. 110. I have it at 110 million. Who will give me 120? Two minutes later, this. 190 is bid. 200 million is bid at 200 million. At 200 million. It had broken all sale room records, and they were only just getting started. This painting is what you might call the ultimate trophy work. There's only one in the world. So if you buy it, you're the only person who's got the last Leonardo da Vinci in private hands, and you have got the ultimate trophy. Will you give me 290, Alex? 300. I thought so. 300 million. And that was the record for any painting, smashed. And there was still a long way to go. The journey to this extraordinary moment is a story fit for a thriller. It was part of Charles I's collection. In the 18th century, someone decided to add a beard to the face, and for decades, its whereabouts were unknown. Then, in 1958, it was sold at auction for 45 pounds, about $60. And then in 2005, it was decided by a group of experts that this really was the work of Leonardo da Vinci. The clue was that face, that hazy shimmer, his signature style. There are those who still have their doubts, but a leading Leonardo expert is convinced. There are no serious arguments about it not being by Leonardo. The only serious argument is the extent to which it's been damaged and repaired, which is quite extensive. 19 minutes into the sale, it had stalled at $370 million. And then this. 400 million. Adding Christie's commission, and that's a total price of $450 million. Game over. Sold. The name of the buyer, even where they come from, remains a secret. But whoever they are, they've just made history. David Silito, BBC News. Well, I'm joined by our arts editor, Will Gompers. Well, this is a staggering amount of money. It is mind-blowing, Rita. I mean, when you think about this painting, which was sold in 2005 for around $10,000, it was overpainted at that stage. And then they discover the, this figure beneath of Christ um, in benediction holding the orb and, and all, all the rest of it. But throughout that period, there have been questions about its authenticity. So you're, this, this person spent $450 million on a picture which the majority of people say is by Leonardo, but a significant minority say could not, possibly not be by Leonardo. And, and, and most people think it's not all done by Leonardo, plus it's in terrible condition. So, so it is an extraordinary purchase from that point of view. And just put it into some sort of context, the most ever paid at auction for an old master previously within 2002 for Rubens' Massacre of the Innocents for about $76 million, OK? N the most ever paid before last night for any work of art at auction was around $179 million in 2015 for um, Picasso's The Women of Algiers. So to go from that figure to $450 million, you just have to say it to think about it, for a bit of wood with some painting on it, albeit they say by Leonardo, it is eye-watering. Indeed it is. Well, many thanks. Time for a look at the weather now. Here's Louise Lear. Hi there, Anita. I've got my own masterpiece behind me. I would probably have to show you half a dozen weather watchers to illustrate the story, but I'm just going to concentrate on this beautiful picture in Perth and Kinross, as opposed to, yes, it's beautiful in Wales, I know, but the...